What's up what's going on legends, it's your boy Earl Shadow here and in today's video we're going over everything in season 2 that we know so far. They dropped the season 2 roadmap so we have a pretty good idea of all the new content that's coming. There's a ton of it. We're going to go over it in today's video. We're going to go through everything that they say is coming so far. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, please show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 30 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys want to find your way back to the channel for more Cold War or Warzone content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into what is coming here in Season 2 because it's absolutely insane. There's a ton of stuff, and it's pretty exciting if you ask me. So first off, right out the gate for Cold War content, we have four new operators, and obviously these should be usable in Warzone as well. We have Naga, which is going to be available launch week. We have Maxis, also going to be available at some point during the season. Wolf, also at some point during the season. And then Revis at some point during the season. So we can assume that they're probably going to drop those with some sort of operator packs or something like that throughout the store at some point throughout the season. Then the next big part we have is six new weapons. But six new weapons for Cold War means six new weapons for Warzone. So let's go ahead and see what they have planned for us because that's a ton of new weapons. It's pretty exciting, at least from the sound. So we have the Farah 83 Assault Rifle, going to be available on launch week. We then also have the LC-10 SMG, also going to be available on launch week. These are going to be uh, obtained through the Battle Pass. The Assault Rifle available at 15 from what this says here. And then the SMG available at tier 31. And then we're going to, at some point during the season, get the Machete. We're also going to get the E-Tool melee weapon, which is like a small shovel. Um, we are also getting the R1 Shadow Hunter, aka the crossbow. I don't know why they always have to add the crossbow. Some people enjoy it. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. But we can, you know, if they want to do it, let's go. We're also gonna get the ZRG 20 millimeter sniper at some point during the season. And then now we're gonna get some zombies information. Zombies is gonna expand in outbreak. The next chapter of the Aether story takes the agents of Requiem deep into the heart of Russia where they'll fight to survive their greatest challenges yet. Welcome to Outbreak, an entirely new, large-scale zombies experience unlike any other. Alongside that, they're going to be adding new field upgrade, Frenzy, Frenzied Guard. The Frenzied Guard basically calls all the zombies to one player, taking all the heat off of everybody else for a certain amount of time, and during that time they can only take damage to their armor. It's a pretty big game changer as, you know, obviously sometimes people get put in crunch situations where they might go down is going to help you know one of those players kind of relieve that so cool new a uh, little upgrade for for zombies overall as well as they're going to be adding a new ammo mod the shatter blast which is possible to get through obviously the pack punch machine this will make all bullets deal explosive damage each bullet also has a chance to explode dealing additional explosive damage and destroying any impacted armor they're also adding two new skill tiers Two new Aetherium Crystal Types, Refined and Flawless Aetherium Crystals. Agents of Requiem will be able to upgrade all skills to Tier 4 and 5. We're going to be getting four multiplayer maps. Apocalypse, 6v6, which will be available on launch week. Welcome to the Lao Jungle, Cartel Base, and Heart of the Golden Triangle. We have Golova, which is a multi-team map that at some point during the season will be released. Golova appears to be a traditional Russian village located within the picturesque Ural Plains. But beneath its surface, it holds a dark secret embedded by its designer and creator, Nikita Dragovich. So, another new map. Doesn't multi-team, I'm not sure exactly what that means. We have Mansion going to be available for 2v2 and 3v3 at some point during the season for that gunfight face-off mode. We also are going to be getting Miami Strike, Rise and Shine, Miami, because soon it will be time to infiltrate Ocean Park Drive during the day. Miami Strike is going to be Miami during the daytime and maybe a shrunken version, because obviously Strike and... The other version of the maps that we've had means it's a smaller version of a like a bigger a bigger scaled map. So we'll see. We'll see what that has to bring. We're gonna be getting some new multiplayer modes, gun game for free for all launch week. We're gonna be getting stockpile six v six at some point during the season. Stockpile mixes kill confirmed and hard point together for a fast paced slay heavy objective game mode. So those of you guys that have never seen that, because that's not a mode I've seen too many times. We have hard point multi team. It's gonna be available at some point during the season. Get the squad together and prepare for the biggest version of Hardpoint ever created in Call of Duty. Taking place across the largest maps in Cold War, this hectic new squad-based Hardpoint mode tasks 10 squads of four with capturing and defending Hardpoint hills around the map that rotate every 120 seconds. First squad to reach 500 seconds of the total objective time will win the match. 
that sounds insane. I don't actually know if I would enjoy that mode, but it sounds kind of crazy, and at least you know they're trying some new things. We're going to be getting some new tools of the trades, they call it. Score Streak, the Death Machine is going to return. It's going to be available on launch week. First seen in the original Black Ops, the Death Machine is handheld minigun with high damage rounds to suppress enemies in the lines of fire. Its raw damage output also allows it to tear through low flying or ground enemy score streaks as well as vehicles. In Season 2, the Death Machine will also be added into Zombies as additional support weapon in Outbreak, Firebase Z, and Die Machine. They're going to be adding a couple of new vehicles, the sedan. We're going to be getting a light truck. And then alongside all of this other stuff, new season challenges will be coming, obviously, which means we're going to be getting four new prestiges. After you hit level 200, of course, you're going to be going into getting the prestige keys for every 50 levels. Before that, for each prestige, obviously, you're going to get a new prestige, a new emblem, a prestige key, of course, a battle pass tier skip. And for level 50, you're definitely going to be getting a weapon blueprint as well. So you're going to be getting a bunch of new levels to grind through. You can go all the way to Prestige 11, which is going to be insane. We're going to be able to obviously see what uh, what people are able to do. And then now we get to move on to the fun stuff, the Warzone content, or at least what we know so far. I know there's a lot of exciting things coming. At some point, we all believe there's supposed to be a new map. I don't know if it's going to be during Season 2, but at least we're going to get some new stuff along the way. So for Warzone content, in addition to the new weapons operators from Black Ops Cold War, within Season 2 and a fresh loot pool, Warzone receives new and shocking point of interest to explore and two modes that shake up the traditional Battle Royale formula. New point of interest. Across Verdance, there are a number of point of interest to either discover or fully explore all advancing Warzone's story while offering new places to scavenge and scrap for survival. Last sighted off the coast of Rebirth Island, recent intel suggests that cargo tanker Vidinoi has gone missing at sea. However, recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading toward the port of Verdansk. Operators within the vicinity are recommended to extre exercise extreme caution as the ship is carrying unknown cargo and the crew is not able to be contacted. Meanwhile, within Verdansk, something major is beginning to rumble deep underground. So something big is happening on the map. They're going to be some changes to the map, which is really exciting. I think it's going to be cool. Change things up, spice things up, new loot pool. I'm all for it. Alongside, we're going to be getting some new game modes for Warzone, Exfiltration. It's about time that the Exfil Chopper arrives before the circle collapses fully in. During an Exfiltration Battle Royale, a portable radio crackles and light into life, coming online somewhere in Verdansk. The operator who secures this radio and holds onto it for a sufficient period of time automatically wins the game for them, or their squad in non-solo modes. To ensure their exfil isn't by in, isn't by the book, anyone holding the radio is marked on the tack map as if they were most wanted, with all operators receiving intel on how much longer the current radio holder has until they win. So that's a pretty interesting game mode. I don't know how fun it'll be. We're going to have to see when it comes through. We're also going to be getting a game mode for Rebirth Island. It's going to be Rebirth Island Resurgence Extreme, which is basically an extended version of what we have now, allowing more players to be on the map, totaling up to 90. So this is going to be some chaotic map action over there on, there on uh, Rebirth Island as well. So two new modes coming. Obviously, tons of new content coming. And not just that, we actually know or have a good idea of when this content is going to be dropping as far as updates and downloads are, are concerned. It says for Season 2, Black Ops Cold War will receive a rolling update on February 23rd, scheduled between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Pacific Time, and Warzone will receive a rolling update on February 24th, between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Pacific Time. Along with kicking off a new season of content, these updates will also include quality of life improvements and bug fixes that the current Black Ops Cold War and Warzone games have. So, tons of new stuff coming. They're going to be doing some fixes. Hopefully they don't break the game some more along the way. There's, I don't know. Six new weapons, new operators, new maps in Cold War if you're playing Cold War, new changes to Warzone if you play Warzone. Overall, just I think a ton of exciting stuff's coming. We'll just have to wait and see what happens when it comes out. So Season 2 is on its way. We have all the content. We know what's going on. So we can just kind of just see what we want to look forward to. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for tuning in into today's video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.